Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In the previous video, we learned that how to find the deflection of beam using the double integration method. And in this video, you will learn that how to find the displacement of beam at any point using much more convenient method, which is known as the Macaulay's method. I have been given a question which states that for the beam shown in figure below, we have to find the displacement at a distance of 5 meter from support A using Macaulay's method. E that is modulus of elasticity of this beam is 200 gigapascal and moment of inertia is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay you can see this is an overhanging beam of total span 8 meter okay and uh, two types of loading are applied on this beam one is UDL uh, having a magnitude of 400 newton per meter or a length of 3 meter and a concentrated load of 600 uh, newton applied at the free end okay we have to find the displacement at a distance of 5 meter from uh, support a okay so first what is a macaulay's method this macaulay's method is a technique which is used in structural analysis to determine the deflection of beam under discontinuous or discrete loads okay this method works it creates a single equation for all loads on the beam and this equation is constructed so that the integral constants apply to all sections of the beam. The bending moment equation is written in a particular manner and additional terms are included as the magnitude of load increases. Okay, This method is useful in case of partially, partially uniformly distributed loads, uniformly varying loads over the span and number of concentrated loads. Okay. Uh, the main benefit of this method is that in double integration method we have to write the bending moment equation for each span or whenever the loading changes but in macaulay's method we will write single bending moment equation for the last segment of the beam which will be valid throughout the length of the beam okay so this will get more clear by solving the question so this is uh, our uh, problem first we will calculate the reactions okay so let us assume that R and R D are the vertical reactions at support A and D respectively in the upward direction and taking moments about the support D assuming that clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise are negative. Uh, this gives me R A into 6 minus 400 into 3 into 3 by 2 plus 2 plus 600 into this is equal to 0. Okay, from this I will get the value of RA equal to 500 Newton. Since this is positive, it means the direction of RA is upwards. Okay, and from vertical equilibrium of forces, that is summation of upward forces should be equal to the summation of downward forces. So RA plus RD, this should be equal to 400 into 3 plus 600. From this, RD is 1800 minus 500, which is equal to 1300 Newton. Again, this is positive. It means it is in the upward direction. Okay. After calculating the reactions, now we will write the bending moment equation for the beam. Before writing the bending moment equation, we have to make some modification to the loading. Okay, Since we want to write the bending moment equation which is valid uh, throughout the beam, okay, and we will write this bending equation for this last segment, okay, and uh, we will take one variable only. So, uh, to use a bending moment equation which is uh, valid throughout the length of the beam we will make the modification to the loading okay so this udl this will be uh, made continuous up to the last segment as shown in the figure and for this portion we will apply the uh, magnitude of uh, same udl but in the upward direction so this downward and upward will cancel and our lo loading remains same okay uh, this is done uh, actually uh, so that one single equation can be written in terms of this variable x okay so whenever you have partially uh, uh, loaded udl you have to make it continuous up to the last segment and apply equal and opposite udl okay so that the magnitude of the loading does not change okay so equation bending moment equation for the last segment this is the section and x is calculated from support a so bending moment at this section which is shown this uh, dotted okay at a distance of x from a this will be given as 500 into x again taking clockwise moments as positive and anti-clockwise as negative 500 into x uh, minus 400 into x minus 1 okay moment of this 400 about this 
डिस्टेंस x इज 400 हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स माइ एक्स माइनस वन इंटू एक्स माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल फोर हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस अपवर्ड्स यू डी एल दिस इज फोर हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स माइनस फोर ओके यू हैव टू सब दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम x विच इज थ्री प्लस वन विच इज फोर सो मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस अबाउट दिस विल बी x माइनस फोर ओके प्लस थर्टीन हंड्रेड ओके इंटू थर्टीन हंड्रेड इज दिस रिएक्शन थर्टीन हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स माइनस सिक्स ओके यू हैव टू सब ट्रैक फ्रॉम एक्स दिस थ्री प्लस वन प्लस टू विच इज एक्स ओके दिस विल बी थर्टीन हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स माइनस वन दिस इज द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट इक्वेशन फॉर दिस बीम विच इज for the last segment and it is valid throughout the length of the beam but the condition here is if this bracket terms becomes uh, become negative you have to take it zero okay if this x minus 1 if i put the value of x such that it becomes negative then you have to take it zero similarly if this x minus 4 becomes negative you have to take it zero if x minus 6 becomes negative you have to take it uh, zero okay so this is the bending moment equation for the last segment now write m in terms of dy and dx so moment this is equal to ei into d2y by dx2 this is 500x minus 400 into x minus 1 whole square divided by 2 plus 400 into x minus 4 whole square divided by 2 plus 1300 into x minus 6 this is one term x minus 1 x minus 4 this is again one term and this x minus 2 this is also one term now you will integrate uh, integrate this uh, uh, equation on both sides so you will get E i d y by d x. This will be five hundred into x square divided by two, and this will be minus four hundred into x minus one. As I told you, this x minus one is a single term, so you don't have to only integrate x. You have to integrate this whole, considering it as a variable. Okay, so this will be x minus one, uh, whole raised power three divided by six. This will be plus x minus four, whole raised power three divided by six plus. Thirteen hundred into x minus six whole is power square divided by two plus c one, which is the constant of integration. If you again integrate it, it will be e i into y five hundred into x cube divided by six minus four hundred into x minus one whole is power four divided by twenty four because six into four is twenty four plus four hundred into x minus uh, four whole is power four divided by twenty four. Plus thirteen hundred into x minus six, whole is power three divided by six plus c one x plus another constant of integration which is c two. So this is our equation of the deflection. Now you will use the boundary conditions. So first boundary condition is that at x is equal to zero, deflection is zero. At supports, deflection is zero. Okay. So at x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. So put x is equal to zero in this equation first. Okay. As I told you, if this bracket term becomes negative, you have to take it zero. So when you put x is equal to zero in these terms, these x terms will become negative. So you have to take them zero. So terms inside the bracket becomes negative for x is equal to zero. Hence. Uh, Uh, this uh, term you have to take it zero. So all the terms in this will become zero, which will give you the value of C two equal to zero. Okay. Uh, after that, equation first becomes after C two is zero. This is the equation first. E i into y is equal to five hundred x cube divided by six minus four hundred into x minus one whole raised power four divided by twenty four. Plus four hundred into x minus four whole raised power four divided by twenty four plus thirteen hundred into x minus six whole raised power cube divided by six plus c one x. Uh, after that, you will use another boundary condition, which is at x is equal to six meter, that is support D. Again, the value of deflection is zero. So put x is equal to six in the equation first and solve for c one. Okay, so it will become five hundred to six. Cube divided by six minus four hundred into six minus one whole is power four divided by twenty four plus four hundred into six minus four whole is power four divided by twenty four plus thirteen hundred into six minus six whole is power three divided by six plus c one into six. This gives me the value of uh, c one equal to minus one three zero eight point three three. Put it in equation first, and you will get 
the deflection equation okay so this is uh, our deflection equation after putting the value of c1 equal 1308.33 okay after that uh, you now have the uh, deflection equation so you can easily calculate the deflection at any uh, point from support a by putting the value of x so we have to find the deflection at x is equal to 5 meter from support a so put x is equal to 5 equation will become ei into y 500 into 5 cube divided by 6 minus 400 into 5 minus 1 whole is power 4 divided by 24 plus 400 into 5 minus 4 whole is power 4 divided by 24 plus 1300 into 5 minus 6 whole is power cube divided by 6 minus 1308.33 into 5 okay this will be equal to ei into 10416.67 minus 4266.67 plus 16.67 this third uh, this term fourth term this will become zero why it is zero because the term inside the bracket is negative and whenever the term inside the bracket becomes negative you have to take that term as zero okay so this fourth term becomes zero and this fifth term is 6541.65 this gives me the value of ei equal ei y equal to minus 375 okay now put the value of e and i e is 200 gigapascal which is equal to 200 into 10 raised power 9 newton per meter square make the units of e and i uh, consistent with the loading units our loading is in newton meter and distance is in meter okay and e i this is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 so it will be 250 into 10 raised power minus 6 meter raised power 4 put the value of e and i and calculate the value of y so after putting the value of uh, e and i i will get the value of deflection equal to 375 divided by uh, 200 into 10 raised power 9 into 250 into 10 raised power minus 6 which is minus 7.5 into 10 raised power minus 6 meter which is equal to minus 0 0.0075 mm is the value of deflection at x is equal to 5 meter from support a, okay so this is how you can use the macaulay's method to calculate the deflection at any point in the beam you just have to write one single bending moment equation which is valid throughout the length of the uh, b but before writing the equation you sometime you have to make adjustment to the loading okay so that you can write one single equation using uh, one variable okay I hope this solution video was clear and effective. Okay, I will try to solve some more questions on this Macaulay's method so you will understand the concept better. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, share this video. Okay, and stay tuned.